So I'm here on my Asus Transformer screwing around with DOSBox Turbo. Thought it'd be fun to uh, take a stab at an old full motion video game. So I just have to mount the disc. Oops, stop that. I've already installed it, but I haven't written a script for this. I'm amazed at how far this has come. I don't know what I keep hitting. It's making me crazy though. Yeah, let's see. No stop. Just run the setup. Interestingly enough, I can actually uh, control the mouse in here. Sort of. Auto detect your sound. Here we go. Check this out. This is crazy. Always had a weird fascination with this game. I'm going to change the way that the mouse input works. I'm going to go to config. Absolute mouse tracking. And I'm going to change my input mode to a physical mouse, which it already is. Go back here. Alright, let's jump into the game. And it's not actual, but it's close. You can already start trapping the guys right away. A lot of people wait through the whole intro, and then you miss a bunch of guys. Trap one set. Guys climbing in the window here pretty soon. Gotta wait till this little bar charges up to full. Then you immediately gotta jump into the bathroom. Do another one. I've already missed two, can you believe it? I missed it. Damn it. I mean, the idea of the game is pretty sound. There's uh, cameras in every room of the house. And you monitor what's going on. That beat means that there's an opportunity to uh, catch somebody and I missed it. There we go. There's another one. And I, think I think it was too late. Side. Oh, crap, I missed that one too. Yeah, the beat means you missed them. Now, the mouse isn't perfect one-to-one, uh, -one, so... Of course, this is the PC version we're looking at here. There's really an entire movie going on through this whole game. You just have to be in the right place to see it. Depending on where you're looking at what point in time, you'll see different things. Another trap sprung. You see, there's a time. There's a time here, and uh, essentially, you just need to know what's happening at what time frame so you can jump around. So there's a bad guy right there. I don't know if I can trap here or not. Then the girls arrive. And again, this whole game goes on regardless of where you're at. The timeline is moving in each location. I think it's a fascinating game. What's he exactly going to do right there? See, they're here, the girls come out. There's 
Here's Dana Playa. Deceased. Like I said, you gotta keep you gotta keep moving, especially if you don't know the timeline. There are timeline cheats all over the internet, but part of the fun is watching this story unfold. I'm, so not to come. Oh, no I'm totally stunned that it works so well on the transformer. It speaks a lot to DOS Box Turbo. Yeah, so you can't be sitting and watching the story. You got to be out capturing these guys. So far, there's ten guys that I could have captured. I've only gotten four of them. If you miss too many, eventually the scat guys will take over and you'll lose the game. The scat commanders or whatever. There's also an access code. Right now it's set to blue. That's the one the game starts with. At periodic times throughout the game, they'll change the access code. Once the access code is changed, until you change the color, you won't be able to tr spring any traps. Oops, I was in the right spot. Oops, too early. You can't wait around to watch your handiwork either, you gotta keep moving. Anyway, I think the game's fascinating. I uh, hope you enjoyed taking a look at it and seeing just how well it runs on the Asus Transformer. Absolutely incredible.